a, a tough question right now. You're one year in, so we'll look back on this in many years. But what would you want your legacy in Congress to be? A fair person who asks tough questions with an expectation of an honest answer, uh, treated people with respect, voted his district, but also acted in a manner that was calculated to bring honor to the people he works for. Uh, they're not gonna ever say I was the smartest guy in Congress. That wouldn't be true. Um, I just, I wanna reflect well because it is such an awesome honor to represent an area where you were born and grew up. You just want people to say, you know what, whether I agree with him all the time or not, um, he was a gentleman and, uh, and he never embarrassed us. You've got to follow that. What would you want your legacy yeah, I to be? I can't follow that. <laughs> There's a statue in uh, the Hall of Statues in Washington and, and the guy, I'm not sure what state he's from, every state has two statues, but it says warrior, statesman, and jurist. Um, I think that's pretty, pretty profound. Uh, I just want to be known as someone that's principled. Um, I know when I served in Columbia, folks didn't have to look up at the voting board to see how I would vote on something. They knew, because they knew what kind of man I was. They knew how I voted, where I stood on principle, the issues that concerned me. They didn't have to guess. They didn't have to look up. They knew. I want folks in Washington to know, you know, Jeff stands for these things. Uh, if he gives you his word, uh, it means something. He's going to stand by it. Um, but he's very uh, open-minded to the process and to someone sharing their ideas with me and maybe convincing me uh, differently. But uh, honest, uh, caring, and uh, someone that you know, they want to uh, continue to serve with for a long time or someone they will want to continue to represent for a long time.